We're back, and our first stop is Marceline Market, named for Walt Disney's early childhood hometown in Missouri. Marceline Market is slightly different than Cabanas, as it is a food hall inspired by popular marketplaces around the world. Within Marceline Market, you will find some standard fare along with specials, which change up to offer more variety. The majority of seating is indoors with a small outside seating area for al fresco dining experience. One great tip is to arrive early and enjoy the sunrise. It is amazing. Also, if you didn't know, mimosas are $5 until 10 a.m. And if you're an omelet person, there's a station that you can order and they will take it to your table. After breakfast, we roamed a bit around the ship to see what it has to offer. that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't carry water. I just bring my mug and I can have it at any time I want to. Now, after lounging in the pools for most of the day, we did walk around the lobby that had a bunch of things to offer. It was so cool to look at all the little details. For example, they had live music playing. Uh -huh. Now one of the cool things was looking into the displays here at the Grand Hall. For example, all the reference to the Cinderella's movies was amazing. We literally loved it. Like stuff like this, the slip around the staircase. And they had like drawings and cells and stuff like that. And then besides all the Cinderella stuff, they had stuff regarding the ship itself. Like for example, uh, some of the colors that they picked, some of the uh, fonts and numbers and stuff like that like you see here. And there is the Aurora Owl and other stuff. So it was really, really cool just to walk around and take it all in. There's the colors of the tiles as well as some of the colors that they were using for the Aqua Mouse that we'll see later. It was amazing. And here, if you guys have seen the Disney Wish uh, documentary on Disney Plus, here's the boat that they were building as the ship was happening. And we found it. All around the ship you'd find tapestries like this which was really amazing and really detailed with all references to Cinderella and other movies which was amazing. Then here for example we had the Cinderella's Royal Gathering that you can reserve and you actually get some extended time with the four princesses. Uh, it is uh, previously you have to do a reservation but it is free. And here is the entrance to Marvel's uh, adventure area which we are going to go on our second night. They did do a separate video for this dinner alone since it was really cool but it really is an immersive uh, experience as you can see here just walking in is so cool and other areas they had barber shops as well they have a royal boutique as well in case if you want to do your uh, princess's hair and dress them up they had that also here on the ship which was really cool and just walking around was so awesome to look at all the rugs all the details Everything was so beautiful. It was really an amazing experience. If you guys have a chance to see it, definitely highly recommend it. Now, something really cool is that it actually had a couple of movie theaters. It actually had two movie theaters here at the end of the ship on the left and on the right hand side. And then at the end, they had the Walt Disney Theater, which is where they do most of the shows, which unfortunately we couldn't record any. 
And conveniently, just before you enter the theater, there's actually a bar to the left, and there's actually waiters walking around the theater offering you options that you can buy inside the theater. Now, as previously mentioned, there's absolutely no recording whatsoever, but this was here when we walked in, and the shows were awesome, really well done. A lot of singing, a lot of dancing effects all over the place. Every night they had a different one. For example, we had The Little Mermaid, we had Aladdin, and then we had Tiana's which was a really cool show. Explore the sweeter side of your personality at this decadent dessert shop inspired by the Pixar animated film Inside Out. Sculpted figures of joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust will greet you as you enter Riley's headquarters for hand scooped gelato. Signature treats include candy filled chocolate memory orbs and colorful cupcakes that pay tribute to the film Emotional's character. Joy, lemon, sadness, blueberry, disgust, pistachio, anger, red velvet, and fear, bubblegum. Other specialties include macaroons, cake pops, handcrafted truffles, designer cookies, chocolate brownies, and assorted candies. You can even pick your cone of red velvet, matcha, dark chocolate, or birthday cake. Now, just like the other two videos we did of the Disney Dream and the Disney Fantasy, their unique ice cream location have a signature item, and our challenge has always been to see who can finish it. Here it consists of three scoops of ice cream, five toppings, whipped cream, and a cherry. And of course, a souvenir cup. Who do you think will win? Now with your Sunday you get five toppings, but there are so many good toppings here, the problem becomes which five do you want to get. But I don't recommend the gummy bears because when they're cold they become like rocks, but all the other stuff was amazing. Throw it in there. Yeah. That's awesome. You like to get any toppings, sir? So with the last topping placed, let the challenge begin. So here it is. There's Gilda's. And there is mine. And let's see if we can finish them. What do you think? I am going to finish it. You are? I love how they gave me three spoons as if I'm willing to share this with anybody. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not happening. No, not today. Not okay. today. All right. It should be known that we're having dessert before we even have lunch. Yeah. That's how we roll on vacation. I think this is priorities. It's all about priorities, yes. right? It's a, it's a definite priority. Here's the next progress report. As you can see, I'm doing doing well. Gilda's still, she's struggling. She doesn't want to admit it, but she's struggling. I'm not struggling. They're struggling. It's okay. No. Nope. It's okay if you're struggling. Yeah. Okay, so I officially finished first, but it's not about finishing first or last, it's about finishing it. And Gilda is still struggling over there. She doesn't want to admit it. I'm not struggling. You're not struggling? I find these tables very uncomfortable. Okay. So I'm very uncomfortable sitting in this ice cream. I like better. Tables, tables, tables. It has a back. Okay. I feel like I'm struggling here, sitting down and trying to pull them inside. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. And there it is, guys. 
Yeah, we both finish it. finished it. Yeah. Yeah. I do have to say, I do like more having a seat, like a table. Yeah. This feels like a very elementary school, so yeah. I feel very low, and it's hard to, for you to reach for the ice cream. Yeah. But so, we finished them. But I love the place, and I do love the ice cream. Yeah, and this is so cute. And obviously, you take these home with you. Yep. Okay, so we're here at uh, for lunch, and look at this. We got a little bit of everything. What do you got? Yeah, I got butter broccoli, white rice, chicken, double something potatoes, mm -hmm. and two rolls. This is her rolls. Nice. This is just a regular one, and this is a Caesar salad. Okay. I guess it's my something. Yep. All right. Okay, so here's what I got for uh, for lunch. Got some chicken, some white rice, and uh, steak. And over here are the shrimp and some sauce. Very simple, very basic. Now, after a while, we went up to the Cove Cafe to get one of those fancy drinks that Gilda likes. Sadly, the service was a little slow, so we ended up going to another place. But anyway, here's a tour to the location. We ended up going next door to the Cove Bar, actually, and she got a really interesting drink. I don't know what this is. It's a spritz. It has strawberry, vodka, and champagne, along with a popsicle out of bay with basil. That is awesome. And it tastes just as good as it sounds. Delicious. Awesome. So this is Art on Demand where you actually purchase some of the artwork that is on the, on the walls. For example, this is the Disney Wish um, inside. And so you choose here, you choose if you wanted paper or canvas. We're going to choose paper. You choose your size, 24 by 40, which is insanely huge. So we're gonna go with the smaller one. Alone, the paper canvas would be $59, but you can also frame it. You can choose to have a frame, and I'm assuming sent to you, because I don't know if they do it here. And then you put it in the basket, and that's it. And you purchase it. And then you go inside of the store um, and buy it pay it with them at six o'clock when the store opens it's really cool okay here we go Mickey's main sale I'm gonna lose my ever-loving mind look at that she has to come home and, with and me. you got and you got Lucifer in the back with the little oh with the she, teacup and Gus and look at Gus and everything I need that, I need that, I need that. You see how that. cool this looks also? Look how neat. This is like the wish itself. That is so cool. Oh my God. And you got obviously the other traditional merch here. Yeah. You got the Cruise line tumblers. Mugs, the tumblers. Do you need another tumbler? No, we don't. We don't need another tumbler. Is it coming home with me? Most probably. Yeah. Oh my Look God. at that. So we found magnets. We found the magnets. And uh, that's cute. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Flipping around. 2024. Look at that. These are the like generic ones. The generic ones. Yeah, but these are like the smaller ones. That's a big one. This is like a smaller one. Hmm. I gotta go see the ears. Go see the ears. I have those. Oh my lordy. I like those. I have the bottom ones. 
And this one is cute, but I don't use it that much. These are cute, but the color scheme, I don't use no. it that much. And these are definitely the cruise line ones. Look yeah, at that with the logo. Yeah, those are the cruise line ones. I have the Cinderella ears, of course. Yeah. Stateroom magnets. Look at this. You're not going to believe this. Oh, wow. A lounge fly of the Disney Wish. Wow. You can even buy the magnets, look. The magnets for the doors. Yeah. Nice. Now when nighttime came around, it was pirate night, so we headed up to the top deck. And while we thought this would be like a sing-along, like the other cruises, it was actually more like a rock concert, but themed with some of the songs from the attractions. Disney Wish, who's ready to rock? And that wraps up this video. Now make sure you follow along with the other ones with the links that are provided above. Till then guys, stay awesome. <laughs>